Hey y'all. So, I know I said that I am only going to do a video every other day, but y'all, I was sitting here going through my sales ads, making my list if I need anything from the store, if I wanted to go to the store and stock up on anything, just seeing what they had. And y'all have come up on a sale at one of our local stores, Ingles. Okay, if you have an Ingles, then you need to pay attention. Okay, especially if you're wanting to start your pantry stock or if you want to restock. Okay, if you have some holes in your pantry and you need to stock something in there, especially proteins. Very important that you have plenty of proteins on your pantry shelves, in your freezers, all the things. Okay. And right now, it started yesterday. Today is Thursday. So, it started yesterday. Right now, until next Tuesday night, Ingles is having a huge sale. And they've got a lot of proteins. Okay? They've got a lot of proteins that are shelf-stable. They've got a lot that are freezer. They, they have some that you can can. If you can your meat then they have a great, some great deals there too. So, I thought, mm, Missy, you need to make a video on this and you need to let them know about this sale. Here's what I found so far, okay? They have Heritage Farm Chicken Thighs or Drumsticks. Y'all, these are the little packs of chicken that I get when this sale hits. This is one I've been waiting on. Okay, I'll be honest with you. I've been waiting on this one. We get a ton of chicken thighs. And we've already got a bunch of drumsticks out there. But I may grab several more packs of those. And normally, the packs that we get are around a, between a dollar and a dollar and a half a pack. That's enough to feed us. I know that we're a family of three. But, y'all, we still like to eat, okay? We still like to eat. These packs are big enough for us. They are great. It's good quality chicken. And I am excited about it. Just saying. They have Daisy Sour Cream. It is the little 8-ounce containers. Y'all, I would rather have those little 8-ounce containers more than anything. Sour Cream is freezable. And it's 78 cents. For an eight ounce carton of daisy sour cream <laughs> okay just saying now i know that this this next one is not going to be applicable to everybody okay because some people are going to be like why is she saying that Ooh, who eats that i do okay the next one is boiled peanuts oh my gosh Mm -mm -mm. great source of protein, okay? And bull peanuts are delicious. I love the Cajun ones. Love them, love them. They are on sale for $1.98 a can. $1.98, yeah. The next one is the Laura Lynn Shredded Cheese. Woo! That is $1.58 a bag this week, okay? And I have looked at Kroger. I have looked at Food City. Kroger has theirs for $1.79, but y'all, Ingles has them beat. It's $1.58 a bag. Yes, please. Freeze, freeze. Cheese freezes beautifully. I love to throw that in the freezer, stock my freezer full of it. That way, no matter what I need, I can run out to the freezer. I can grab a bag, and it'll be thawed out within no time. Okay? Okay. Another thing that I have seen, and I'm going to turn around here, is they have the Laura Lynn canned chicken. Have y'all priced that lately? Holy cannoli! I have, and it's crazy. So, when you catch it on sale, you stock up, right? It's a good protein to have on your shelf, right? 
this week. Da 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 da. Ingles has it for 98 cents a can. Mm hmm. Yes. 98 cents a can. They need to be bought out of those if you're stocking your pantry. 98 cents a can. Like, that's crazy. They also have the frozen turkey breast on sale for $1.78 a pound. Y'all, y'all can go ahead and get that. Throw it in your freezer and have it ready to go come Thanksgiving, come Christmas, or have a little early celebration. We like to do that. Have you a little early celebration, make you a big meal, and there you go. Now, for those of you that like the lighter side of things and you prefer ground turkey, they have ground turkey on sale this week. Buy one, get one free. Buy one pack, get one pack free. I love the sound of that. All right, for you fish stick lovers, okay, or fish lover, period, they have the boxes of Gorton's fish sticks or filet, the cod fish sticks or filets. They have them on sale. Buy one, get one free. And that's a almost a $12 savings there. Now, we don't eat seafood in this house except for tuna fish every now and then. But that sounds like a good deal to me. One more thing that I see that might be worth mentioning is the Tillamook cheese. Now, I am a fan of Tillamook. I am not a fan of Tillamook prices. Okay? So, therefore, I don't buy it very often unless it's on a really good sale. And this week, it's on a really good sale at Ingles. It is $2.48 per bag. Y'all, that is a really good sale because normally it's about $5 a bag. Between $4.50, $5 a bag. At any store that I have gone into and looked at the Tillamook. Okay? So that is a really good sale on that cheese. And I may be mixing and matching the Laura Lynn with the Tillamook. Because, y'all, I love it. I love it. And that's a really good sale. So, I wasn't expecting to go out today. But I feel like I have to. Tomorrow it's supposed to rain all day long. Nobody wants to go grocery shopping in the rain. You know, I mean, it's just one of those things. Uh, we don't have an Ingles and a Kroger close together. So, I'm going to have to go to one town to go to Ingles. One town to go to Kroger. I have to go to Kroger to pick up medicines anyway, so I might as well do a little bit of shopping because guess what? They have Boston butt pork roast. Have to be careful saying that. Buy one, get one free. So, and Kroger is one of those stores where if you don't want both of them, if you don't want to get the free one, then the one that you're buying is half off, okay? They are one of those stores I don't know about their affiliates like Ruler Foods or um, Myers or anything like that. I don't know about them, but I know that our Kroger does that. So, there's that. Y'all, I gotta go do something with this. We're gonna head out and we're gonna shop at Ingles today. Yay. I'm going to stock up on some of that chicken. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I was going to tell you all the total that I have spent for the past two months to restock my pantry. Technically, today is February 29th. So, I will wait and I will add this to my total so that I can be extremely accurate. Okay? And extremely honest and upfront with y'all because it is technically still February. So, yeah, I'll wait and add this one to the tally, and there will be a grocery haul as soon as I get home. So, stay tuned for that. All right, y'all, you are looking at my last massive haul 
for at least the next six months. This is it. The rest of my grocery hauls will be teeny tiny because y'all, we're stocked. We're done. We're good. And we're going to see how long all this food will last. Okay? So let me show you what I picked up. I only went to Ingles. I only shopped there because that's where I found the best deals. And y'all, I only bought stuff that were on the deals. That was it. That was it. So I got a thing of bananas. Because we didn't have any bananas. We went through all of ours. And so Aiden was asking for bananas the other day. So I got him a few. I did splurge on me something. Y'all, if you've never tried Ingles Fried Pies, they're amazing. And enough said. Okay. I got five cans of the chicken breast. They were 98 cents a can. So I grabbed five of those. I got six cans of the boiled peanuts, $1.98 per can. I love the hot and spicy. They're my favorite. I got 16 bags of the cheese. I got a mild cheddar. Uh, I think three of the pizza. Several of the Mexican blend because I love that stuff and we didn't have any. And then they had a thick cut Mexican blend. I got two of those. I got two mozzarellas. I got two sharp. Two Kobe Jack, and then like I said, three of the pizza blends. Now with what I already have, the blocks and the other shredded cheese that I already have, y'all were good on cheese for the year. Okay, that's done. Dollar fifty-eight a bag. That was a deal. I got eighteen packs of chicken. I got a whole case or twelve of the chicken thighs. And I got six packs of the chicken drumsticks because we already have quite a few out there. And they were 98 cents a pound. And y'all, I am tickled to death with this. I am. That was a really good deal. I got 10 of the 8-ounce Daisy Sour Creams. And y'all, I'm just going to throw these in the freezer. They freeze beautifully. And we'll have sour cream for quite a while. I picked up two of the frozen turkey breasts that they had on sale. These were $1.78 a pound. I paid $11.62 for this one. You can see what it normally was. And then this one, I paid $11.05 for it. Normally $20.37. And then over here, I found these... Um, boneless Boston but pork roast. Say that three times fast. They were $1.98 a pound. I paid $6.87 for this one. And this one back here, I paid $7.58. So, that is my haul from Ingles. And my total for everything that you are seeing right here was $136.30. My savings was $121.07. Y'all, I love that. Okay, I love that. When you plan on how you're going to spend, where you're going to spend, and what you're going to spend it on, it works. Okay, this absolutely works 100%. And I will give you guys a grand total of everything that I have spent over the past two months in order to restock my pantries and my freezers for what could possibly be a full year here in just a few minutes. Okay, y'all, we did it, okay? We did it. My freezers are screaming at me. But y'all, they're full. They're full. My pantries are full. I can breathe again. <sighs> so, let me grab all of my receipts. This is all the receipts from where I restocked. And I'm going to add this big honker to it. 
big mamma jamma. And now, look how thick that is. Y'all, that is Food City, it's Kroger, it's Ingles, it's Grocery Outlet, okay? It's all the things, maybe even a couple of Walmart in there. Anyway, oh no, I'm dropping. I'm back. So, I have tallied up everything, okay? So, here's what we spend. January and February to restock my pantries and get them back full, okay? I spent a grand total of $1,142.90. Nothing that wasn't on sale. Even better if it was on clearance, okay? We had a lot of clearance items brought in. Y'all, that's the way to shop. Wait until the sale prices hit, okay? Wait. They will. I waited two months, and it was right here at the end of February for that chicken to go on sale, okay? And it finally did the last day of the month. The last day of, you know, me wanting to finish everything, the sale hit. And I'm so thankful. I have waited on several sales before I went grocery shopping for certain items, okay? Especially meats. Meats are ridiculous right now. All, all of them are. And they're only going to go up. They are. And I know that there's a lot of people out there that are like me that are on a super tight budget and they can't afford to buy this, you know, five and six dollar a pound meat or more than that sometimes. I saw prices tonight and it was like, why? What happened? And my sister-in-law, we ran into my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law while we were at Ingalls. And she and I were talking, and we were looking at, you know, ground beef and stuff. And I said, you know, the sad part is, is that I can remember when this was 99 cents a pound. And that's not been that long ago. And it's not. You know, I can remember when it was 99 cents a pound. And, you know, you could afford to get enough to feed your family for the week in one setting. You can't do that anymore. The ground beef that we were looking at tonight was five ninety nine a pound. Okay, <laughs> yeah, five ninety nine a pound. So that's why I will wait until it is a dollar ninety nine or two ninety nine a pound, which is what I gave for most of what I've got in there was two ninety nine a pound. I will wait until it is that price, and then I will go stock up. Okay. If you do this right, this is easy, okay? It's, and you almost make it a game in some way. I do anyway. It's a challenge to me and for me to find these deals, okay? If it's not on sale, if it's not on clearance, it does not go into my buggy. And it sure don't come into my house because I can't afford it, Okay. So I've got to look for these deals. I've got to find the best deal possible for the things that I stock in my pantries and my freezers. So, with that being said, um, I don't think that's too bad. My thinking was we would go around between $1,500 and $2,000, okay? Okay. And I told you guys back when we started this, I didn't have that to just go spend it, you know, all at one time or, you know, within a couple of weeks or whatever. And I, I don't. I do not. And to come in at $1,142.90, and that's over the course of two months, I, my jaw is just hitting the ground right now. It really is. I... I mean, I honestly expected out of all of these receipts right here, okay, and I'm probably slinging them again, I honestly expected to be closer to around 
around two thousand dollars i i did i did but now that i have time to sit down take a breath you know i know that i shopped smart i was particular about what i stopped i waited on the sales I stalked the clearance aisles at every store I walked into, and I was just, I was smart about things, okay? And I didn't buy anything that my family will not use or will not eat or anything like that. So now all I have to do, okay, and I think we can do this for the year, I think I'm pretty sure we're stocked for the year, okay? So now all I have to do is maintain my stock. That's it, okay? So I'm going to make a commitment right here and right now to you all. I am going to give myself, I don't care what I have, I'm only going to budget myself $25 a week for the rest of the year for my groceries because today I got two turkey breasts one for Thanksgiving one for Christmas I was gifted two big hams at the end of the year one for Thanksgiving one for Christmas I'm ready for the holidays I already stock all the things that I need for the holidays I'm good so I'm gonna give myself a $25 a week budget to keep up with things and to buy the fruits or the produce and the dairy that we need here for the house and y'all that's going to be it everything is going to be pulled from the pantry and the freezers that's going to be our meals three meals a day we're ready we are ready so i hope y'all will join us on our journey and I'm looking to y'all to hold me accountable on this. I am. Because I need accountability partners for this. This is going to be tough. I have never done it for that long. Never. I have never gone that long on that budget. So, this is going to be a task. It's a big test of my pantries and my freezers. So... I need y'all to be my accountability partners and hold me to it, okay? Hold me to it. I'm serious, hold me to it. So, if you're interested in watching this journey, please be sure to hit that subscribe button because y'all don't want to miss any of this, I promise you, okay? I'm going to show you guys how we're going to use the food that we have in our pantries and freezers and... I'm going to show you guys what I'm getting every week or every two weeks or whenever I decide to go back to the store. I will show you guys what I got. I will do a teeny tiny grocery haul and make sure that you guys know exactly what I'm getting. I'll show you the receipt. I have no problem showing anybody any of the receipts that I have in my stack here from where I stocked up. So, with that being said, Thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for watching. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye, y'all.